The Brave Warriors played their first match of the Kosafa Cup in Deben, South Africa, with new coach Colin Benjamin registering his first win with the team. Despite a goalless draw before the break, the Warriors dominated the proceedings in the first half. After the changeover, Benjamin brought in Steven Damaseb in place of Tuli Nashihwa, who took charge of matters on the left wing. Six minutes after the break, Rudolf Wendel was fouled in the box and Namibia was awarded a penalty which Absalom Imbodi put away. Namibia to take the lead, brilliantly done by Absalom Bondi. That is a superb penalty. The second goal was scored by Vendal from an acute angle to beat Madagascar goalkeeper at a near post in the 66th minute. The Brave Warriors winger Vendal was also awarded the player of the match. When there's a genius in you, nothing can stop you. Inviting ball defensively, he gets the first good touch. But he looked up with good intentions and he defied the odds. Good skill, gets it there. Only he knows. He will tell us that he was going for a goal because it's a goal. I think um, it's probably well that, that, that we could win the game and that we could get the shot like that in. Compliments to that uh, player, compliments to the team. But um, I, I still think uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It's a lot of work. It's very, very raw. Uh, at times also a bit unprofessional. Uh, and, and that's definitely not the way. You, you won't survive in international football with that kind of performance individually. A few minutes before the final whistle, Steven Damaseb was shown a yellow card on a foul tackle on Adriana Valona. This is the second time Namibia beats Madagascar at the Kosafa after a 3-2 win in 2015.